This icon warns of danger that could result in personal injury or threat to health. These icons tells to pay special attention not to damage the device or any components and parts nearby. Pointer icon displays a specific location on the device. Recycle bin icon indicates that the spare part is not reusable. For assembling, you need the Nokia Standard Dual Kit version 2. You will also need the SS341 RF Cable Disassembly Assembly Tool, the SS347 Alignment Jig and the SS342 Assembly Jig. Place the first bottom micro or ceiling gasket to its place with tweezers. Press to activate the adhesive. Place the four RF cable grounding clips to the groove on the chassis. Place the compression gasket to its place. Place the two display grounding gaskets to the shown places. Place the two engine board grounding gaskets to the shown places. Place the thermal gap filler to its place. Peel off the protective film. Place the Vibra adhesive to its place. Peel off the protective film. Place the Vibra to its place and press it gently with the SS93. Insert the HSJ boot to the HSJ flex assembly as shown. Assemble the HSJ flex assembly to the chassis by first pushing it to its place horizontally. Then push it down to its slot. Place the earpiece gasket to its place and peel off the protective film. Place the earpiece to its place and press it gently with the SS93. Place the earpiece ceiling gasket to its place. Place the second camera adhesive to its place and peel off the protective film.
peel off the protective film from the bottom of the ALS boot. Place the ALS boot to its place and peel off the other protective film. Place the second camera flex assembly to its place. Then first gently press the ALS part to activate the adhesive and then press the second camera part to its place. Place the lower engine board adhesive to its place and peel off the protective film. Assemble the lower engine board top end first and push it down to its place. Make sure the two pins are aligned correctly. Connect the antenna flex connector. Assemble the two battery insulator tapes to the sides of the battery compartment. Assemble the micro USB boot to the micro USB connector. Make sure the shown flap goes under the micro USB connector. Place the engine board on the SS347 alignment jig to prevent damaging the components on the bottom side. Place the MSM copper tape on the engine board and press gently to activate the adhesive. Use the edges of the shielding lit to get the right alignment. Peel off the protective film. Assemble the heat spreader the same way on top of the MSM copper tape. Place the camera to its slot. Connect the camera connector. Connect the RF cable using the SS341. Make sure the RF cable is aligned to go around the shown pin. Assemble the engine board to the chassis top end first. Align the micro USB connector to its place and lower down the engine board.
make sure the shown pin is aligned correctly and that none of the flexes are under the engine board. Also make sure the RF cable goes around the corner of the battery compartment as shown. Connect the five shown flex connectors. Align the RF cable into the groove on the chassis with tweezers. Connect the RF cable to the lower engine board with the SS341. Place the second bottom McClure ceiling gasket to its place on the speaker box. Assemble the speaker box to the chassis bottom end first and push it to its place. Place the Vibra grounding tape to its place on top of the engine board and the Vibra. Use the guiding lines on the engine board to get the right alignment. Peel off the protective film. Place the top MIC outer gasket to the engine cover. Place the type label to the engine cover. Place the camera deco glass on the SS342 assembly jig bottom side up. Place the engine cover on the jig bottom side down. Press the jig in the engine cover to get the camera deco glass attached. Check the result from the other side. Place the flash adhesive to the LED flash slot and peel off the protective film. Place the LED flash to its place and press gently with the SS93. Check the result from the other side. Place the flash boo to its place. Peel off the protective film from the earpiece flex. Place the earpiece flex to its place. Use the guiding pins to get the right alignment.
Assemble the engine cover to the chassis top end first. Push to attach the clips on the top end and lower down the engine cover. Then push to attach the clip on the edge of the battery compartment. Then push to attach the engine cover legs to the grooves on the chassis. The legs of the engine cover are very weak so be careful not to bend them. Make sure the two screw holes are aligned correctly. Fasten the 7 Torx plus size 4 screws in the order shown to the torque of 11 Newton centimeters. Place the battery to the battery compartment. Assemble the battery cover to the chassis top end first. Push to attach the clips on the top end. Then attach the clips on the left and right side and then the clips on the bottom end. Make sure all sides of the battery cover are properly attached. Now the Nokia Lumia 830 assembly procedure is complete.